All right, so we're going to be taking a look at this Voltaic Excel. Um, and again, I double checked to make sure it's not weird. Uh, let's start with A. Okay, you got the two half reactions already. Okay, so I got the half reactions for you, so we don't need to try to write the half reactions again. Okay, but I want you guys to take a look at these half reactions. And we said earlier that we want to make sure that the electrical potential is as positive as possible, right? So I want you guys to take these two half reactions and see if you can write the balanced net ionic equation. It kind of gives you the answer already and calculate the standard cell potential. Okay, so see if you guys can write the balanced net ionic equation using the two half reactions and calculate the standard cell potential and the answer should be 0.15. Okay, let's take about maybe three minutes to do that. All right, guys. Um, so for this one, hopefully you guys identified that you need to flip this equation uh, because we want to make it as positive as possible. Okay, so the reaction that we're working with is cadmium breaks down into the ion and E minus. That's going to change our electrical potential to positive 0 0.4. And then we're going to combine it with this guy right here. So we have a nickel ion and 2e minus, solid nickel, and then it'll be negative 0 0.25. So if we combine the two equations together, cancel out the electrons, uh, you'll get CD plus nickel ion, and then cadmium ion plus nickel, and that'll give you uh, 0 0.15 volts, okay? Yeah, it's gonna be similar to this. Not Definitely not the one that we were looking at. Yeah, that was a bad problem. I apologize, guys. Yeah, e dude, even the AP test questions don't look like that. They yes. don't look like that. Yeah, I'm going to look at the question actually after we're done today because that's a weird question. Yeah, I, I haven't seen anything like that before. Okay, any questions? All right, so uh, let's move on. Okay, so if we take a look at these two, um, this system, we have our cell, right? Okay, we want to figure out the identity of the metal whose mass increases during the reaction and the mass of the metal that decreases during the reaction. Do you have a question? No. Oh, okay. My fault. Yeah. So let's take a look at um, the voltaic cell and let's draw it. Okay. I want you guys to actually take a minute to draw the cells. Okay. So it's going to be the same system that we looked at. We have this. Uh, we're going to have uh, one of them is obviously I want you guys to label which one the cathode is which one the anode is, okay, we have this. See if you guys can draw the flow of the electrons after you figure out the cathode the anode. And then we have our salt bridge right here. I'm gonna do a different color. I'll make it this color, I'll make it black. So this is our salt bridge. We got the flow. I want you guys to draw the flow of the electrons, label the cathode anode and uh, which uh, where the ions and the solid metal are. So take about two minutes to draw it based on the information that we have, and then uh, we'll go over to us. Okay, so um, if we take a look at these two reactions, this one right here, is it oxidation or reduction? The top one. Yeah, this one's oxidation. That means this one is reduction. So it doesn't really matter which uh, way you label it, um, but just remember that oxidation is going to be your anode, so it is negative. Um, your reduction is going to be positive and the electrons flow from negative to positive, okay? Okay, so your oxidation one, this metal right here will be CD. You'll have CD2 plus ions. You'll have uh, nickel ions in here and you'll have solid nickel right here, okay? All right, so let's talk about, um, let's just answer C and D and then uh, we'll finish up. Do you guys want the answer? No, okay. Wait, okay. Let me just let me just say it so that you guys have the answer. Okay. So the identity of the metal that it whose mass is increasing is going to be nickel. Okay, nickel. And then the other one will lose mass. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. And you can always just remember that the reduction, the the cathode is gonna increase in mass, and then the um anode is going to decrease in mass. All right. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys next week.